Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. California Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon admits bashing Trump is getting old. California State Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon, a Democrat, has made an announcement about President Donald Trump that seems to go against everything the liberal agenda currently stands for. This is absolutely amazing. According to the Sacramento Bee, Rendon has a message for Golden State politicians, stop trashing Trump. The article, coverage of a speech Rendon gave to the California Newspaper Publishers Association, made waves among the Democrat Party because Rendon's comments come after a recent string of liberal media outlets doing everything they can to undermine Donald Trump's legitimate presidency. I'm tired of talking about Donald Trump. We're all doing a great job of talking about Trump and holding Trump accountable. If Hillary Clinton had gotten elected president of the United States, we would have started the year with 2.5 million children in California living in poverty. If Hillary Clinton had been elected president of the United States, we would have started the year with grumbling roads, Rendon said in the article published Wednesday. Rendon's bold statement does not sit well with his colleagues who do not see things the way Rendon does. Minority leader Chad Mays, a Republican from Ukaipa, outside San Bernardino, even took a cheap shot at Trump commenting in the same article that, alternative facts aren't acceptable. Facts are acceptable because the only time you're able to make decisions is based up real information. However, where is this real information coming from? Certainly not the mainstream media. Seemingly. Fake news is acceptable to the liberals only when it supports and pushes their agenda. California State Senate President Pro Tem Kevin DeLeon, a Los Angeles Democrat who has been in the news recently for admitting half of his family is living in the country illegally and using false documents to obtain work, vowed to continue to trash Trump. For reasons that are purely agenda-based. When he was asked by the Sacramento Bee if Trump trashing is alienating the state from the federal government. De Leon had this to say. Had John McCain run for the presidency or had he won eight years ago, as a partisan and as a Democrat, I would naturally be disappointed. But I think I would get over it rather quickly, try to find common ground, see how we can move forward as a nation together. However, somehow he cannot do that with a man who actually won the presidency. The fact that Rendon stood up and voiced his opinion while being surrounded by so many naysayers is truly astounding. We can only unite this country if the liberals are willing to admit defeat and play ball for the good of America. Share this story on Facebook and Twitter and be sure to add your thoughts to the comment section below. What do you think about Rendon's statement? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.